a desert is a barren area of landscape where little precipitation occurs, and as a result, living conditions are difficult or hostile for plant and animal life. For our art lesson today, we will be drawing two similar desert scenes with a focus on warm and cool colors. Colors are categorized into two primary groups, warm colors such as these and cool colors. Red, orange, yellow are considered warm hues and blue, green, and violet are considered cool tones. There is science behind the necessity of arranging colors. Color psychology maintains that it's vital to discern warm tones and cool, from cool shades so that you know the response you're going to evoke. Much like their name suggests, warm colors provide warmth, comfort, and understanding. Cool hues, on the other hand, conjure images of Mother Earth and outdoor recreation. For today's lesson, you will need drawing paper, a pencil, and crayons, or you could use colored pencils. All right, so we're gonna work on our warm and cool desert picture. And the first thing you're gonna do is fold your paper in half, because we're gonna do the warm and cool um, versions of this on the same page. So once you have it folded in half, and I'm gonna draw a line across the middle just so you can kind of see that definition a little bit more on my page. You can do that if you want. Um, but this actually is gonna show um, the cool color desert and then the warm color desert at the bottom. So we're gonna draw the same basic sketch on both sides and then we're gonna color them differently. So starting at the top, we're gonna to start with one, um, we're gonna draw in just a hill here. So about the middle of the page and just draw it kind of curved over to the side. And yours can look like mine. It can be slightly bigger or different. It doesn't matter. Just draw like a, a hill here. And you can make yours, cause we're sketching this in, you could even make it a little bit more curved. But you get the idea. We're just gonna draw that. Now the reason we're doing that is to give a little bit of a uh, horizon for um, a baseline for our saguaro cactus. So we're gonna draw this cactus and here's, follow my lead, you can watch me first and then do yours. So this is gonna be pretty prominent, so we want it to go almost to the top of the page, but we're gonna start by drawing almost a straight line that curves and then comes down again. So that's where you're gonna start and you're gonna work hard, try to make it, um, these lines as parallel as you can. And if you notice, it's like more than a finger width um, thick. So once you have that, and again, at any point, if you need to pause the video to catch up or take some time to work on yours, you can. And then we're gonna work on the um, two arms, I'm gonna call them the branches of the saguaro. And the first one, the, the, they're usually off balance. So I'm gonna draw one down here and one up here. So the one down here, you're gonna start with just a little bit of a curved line. And then it really does run parallel to the main um, body of the cactus. And goes a little bit below and curves back to connect and this connection probably, I should probably make that a little bit bigger, but since we're sketching, I can fix that. And then the top, the other branch on the other side is I'm gonna make it starting up higher, probably about right here. So again, you're gonna just do a little bit of a curved line, but then it starts. I don't want it to be quite as high as the body. And then I'm gonna go down little pass where that connects. Okay, so those are my arms. And you're gonna just carefully erase these marks. And don't worry if you can still see some of your pencil line. When we color this in, those are gonna fade away. Um, so don't worry about that. So now that we have our saguaro, 
we're going to do a couple of background um, hill lines. So I'm gonna start over here on this side and just draw, I'm gonna finish that over here, a uh, curved hillside. And then I'm gonna do another one that goes behind the saguaro, like that. And your lines can look however you want. I would just keep them really simple because we're gonna repeat that down below. And then the last thing we're gonna add here, and you can really add these um, extra plants wherever you want, but we're gonna add some more like desert. Um, they have kind of these, I'll draw it first, these kind of spiky um, plants. And mine went kind of off the hillside there, but you get the idea. And then I'm gonna draw another one over here we have about three, maybe four um, leaves to them. But just do a couple of those. And they can be really wherever you want, but I'm choosing to put them kind of in a grouping next to the cactus. And that's all we're gonna add for now. We're not gonna worry about any other detail. Um, we're not gonna try to do the, the needles um, on the cactus or anything like that. So once you have that, again, you can pause whenever you need to. We're gonna start working on our second drawing. We're gonna to try to mimic our top one as much as we can. So again, we're gonna start with a curved hillside right in the corner, going from kind of the middle to the corner. And then again, we're gonna to try to draw this saguaro body. I'm just gonna to try to draw as straight as I can, almost to the top of the page, curving and going right back down. I'm going to work on the lower arm, I'll call it, lower branch, just a little bit of a curve, and then the line comes up as parallel to this one as you can. Okay. And notice I'm not worrying too much if they're not exact replicas, we're not tracing them or anything like that. It's just as close as you can get to get the the idea that they're similar. All right, so then this one, just a small curve. Again, this arm, I'm not going quite up as high as the original cactus body. And then I'm going to erase that, just slightly that line in the middle so I get the idea. All right, and then I'm going to draw my mountainside I'm gonna go have one going this way, one going this way. And I went kind of over the branches, so I'll erase those. And then, again, some kind of pointy leaf bushes. And that's it, that's our starting point. So once you have this, we're gonna get out your crayons and we're gonna talk about cool and warm colors. So I'm gonna kind of set this aside for just now and I'm gonna get my crayons out. And when you, um, at the, the top picture is gonna be our cool desert color. And what we're gonna pull out for the cool colors are any blues, purples, um, greens, and I have kind of a random assortment of um, crayons that I've saved from different packs over the years. So I'm gonna kind of try to get maybe a, a darker blue, a lighter blue, a couple of shades of purple if you have them. This is a, kind of a darker one. And then the same thing for the greens. I'm gonna try to get some different shades of green. And you can kind of read the colors sometimes to see if you've got the same. These almost look the same. Um, there's a really light green or an olive green. Okay, so you get the idea. And once you have a few options of cool colors, um, actually let's do the same with the warm colors now. So let's grab a couple. So warm colors are gonna be our oranges, yellows, and reds. That's a good one. And I'm gonna try to get a couple shades of orange, if you have them, if you just have, um, if you simply have red, orange, yellow, that's enough because we're going to shade them. Uh, looks like the same red. 
And um, for this, this warm color can also be brown. So you can add, I'm gonna add a couple browns down here. Okay, so get a few options and if you have just just three options is great. Blue, a blue, a purple, a green, a red, an orange, a yellow, and maybe a brown down here to add. Now, um, I almost forgot the top one. You're also going to want your black crayon. So four shades for each. A black, blue, a blue, purple, green for the top, a red, orange, yellow, and a brown for the bottom. Okay? And the next thing we're going to do is start with the, I'm going to put the warm colors to the side. We're gonna start with the cool colors at the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is when you see cool colors in the desert, it's often later in the day when the sun has gone down and um, but not quite disappeared and it has these blue and green and um, the, the saguaro, the cactuses are in shadow. So we're gonna make our cactus black because in those pictures that I showed you of the desert, you can really see that um, there's a, the, the cactuses look like they're just in shadow, with the beautiful sky in the backdrop. So sometimes it's hard to get a crisp line with crayons. Um, I'm just gonna go slowly so I can really But I picked crayons because I think you can get a really bright color and really work on some um, shading with these. If you want to use colored pencils, if that's what you have, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to try not to go too many different directions. I'm going to try to make this all. So you get the idea. And then we're going to color this in. Now it wouldn't necessarily be, I'm going to turn it sideways a little bit. It wouldn't necessarily be you know, you might see some different shades to this black. So you can make some edges really dark and then kind of go lighter. But um, that's going to be, make it really look like it's a nighttime where the cool colors, the desert cools off quite a bit when the sun goes down. And that's what we're looking for. That feel that the temperature has dropped. And I'm gonna just um, add some layers of cool colors on this in the background. I think the plants also would have quite a bit of black to them, um, but I'm also gonna add some shades of like a dark green because that might show a little bit too. And other than that, I'm gonna start using some of my cool colors to make um, the skyline would be the blues and purples and the hillsides would be the shades of green with maybe a little bit of black. So I'm just gonna shade these and I'm going to just let the music play and you can be watching as I do this and go, doing it along with me, but just kind of watch how I blend some colors. I, I don't make the whole sky solid, one solid shade of blue um, or one solid shade of purple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up just to make it look um, a little bit more like a sunset scene.
going to start on the um, the cool the warm color, excuse me, and I think you're going to get the idea. It's the same idea, um, but in this one, obviously, we're using our cool co our warm colors, and the cactus we can actually shade in. Um, I'm going to make mine mostly brown, but what also I want to show you is. Um, in this cactus because the warm colors would be more like daytime and because it's not in shadow like the um, cool color we can add some more details so I'm just gonna give you an idea so I'm so I'm adding some a little bit more you can darken it along one side the top and then you can also use your um, if you want to use pencil or a uh, colored pencil on this, you can. I'm going to try to do this with my, um, yeah, we can get that. Like a, the, the little, um, <laughs> the spiky needles that are on the cactus, we can draw those in, just giving the impression of those. So even with the crayons, I'm just trying to use my pointed, most pointed little area of my crayon and adding those, so you get the idea. You can add, and you can go back in this video to look at the daytime pictures of the square out to get a little bit more idea. And the other part I wanna show you is that um, the cactuses might also have a bit of green in them, as do these other plants. And so just because green is a cool color doesn't mean you can't use it down here. I could use it to blend in just a little bit to give that brown a hint that there's some green in it. I may not want to color the whole thing green because this is, I'm trying to do warm colors down here, but I could just add a little bit of green just to give that hint. Um, and then go back over with my brown just so it's blended in, so it's mostly warm colors. So you can play around with that. And notice with crayons, I'm not trying to make this perfectly crisp edges. It's really hard to do that with crayons, but I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm gonna keep um, coloring these and show you the same idea um, for the hillsides. We might make them more of the orangey browns, and then the sky might be more the yellow, um, yellow orange. You can also make in the desert, oftentimes the ground can look even have a kind of a reddy brown, red, red brown um, look to it. And um, depending on what kind of desert you're in. So just play around with these colors and see what you come up with. Um, you can even think about making more of a, um, like a gradual um, color scheme. So maybe you start with yellow, orange, red, and blend them in together to make that sunset look because um, sometimes in the sky that's really what it looks like. So I'm gonna um, just let the music play, add some color, and I probably won't finish this one either. I want you to just keep working on yours, but you'll get the idea.
So you can see I'm not quite done. Um, I'm gonna keep working on mine and I hope you enjoy keep work to keep working on yours and just take the time to really explore with color and see what it looks like when you um, combine colors and shade them and layer them and just enjoy finishing your warm and cool color desert scenes.